I'd been looking everywhere for the boys, and where do I find them? <laughs> At the great Aussie beer shed. And he goes, well, but it's OK in Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Drinking on the job, are we, boys? Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. No, I wouldn't say oh. it at all. Let me guess, you're here for the history. Same reason we buy the magazines, Ange. May I for the articles? Exactly. Neil, can you prove it to her, please? Well, we're going to show you our museum. Yes. Righto, let's do it. Well, I think it's the beer shed. You better have a beer for well, Lead the way, Macca. When in Rome. Well, it's huge. It's 5,000 square feet, purposely built as a museum. All my own personal collection. It's just over 40 years of collecting. There's 17,000 empty beer cans from around the world. Fairly obvious you drank them. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything else in this museum is Aussie. We're proud to be Aussies. It doesn't matter if it's the old washing machines, the stoves, um, the uh, everything. It's all Aussie. Wow, this is incredible. It really is more than a museum. It's a history lesson, isn't it? It is. Well, maybe I'll just leave you to have a look around and we'll catch Love you later. Love to. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Wow. Told you we'd been working. And the boys were right. They had been doing their homework. Have a look at this. Tenants Lager from Scotland came up with a range of lovely lady beer cans, dating back from the 1960s all the way through to the 1990s. Now, I have a personal favourite here. Her name is Angela, and she knows how to strike a pose. Neil, you've heard it before, but you've got quite a shed here. It's a huge shed. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. What was the inspiration, mate? Well, I've been collecting for 40 years. It started off collecting beer cans, and then uh, I just had a dream 20 years ago I'd like to do a museum, and I thought it was just beer, it'd be not interesting to the average person, so I started to collect Australian stuff, and that just leaves it open-ended, and um, we've just gone berserk, and in the last six years, we've actually built a farming museum as well, so we're now known as the Great Aussie Beer Shed and Heritage Farm Museum. Wow. We've got a blacksmith's workshop, shearing shed, milking shed, saddlery, an old kitchen, and nearly every furphy water cart ever made. So do you wear all those hats? Are you, are you blacksmithing? Are you then pouring the beers or what's going oh, on? I like drinking the beers and pouring the beers, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm a city boy come to the country, so no, I'm not a blacksmith, no. You've got some relics that date back a bit. What's the oldest piece you have in here? Uh, the box on the ground over here, which is a strong box from a Cobb Co coach for the gold. Wow. There's one exactly the same in Sovereign Hill in Ballarat. I've also just recently bought a uh, toilet lock and it says pennies only, and it's from the Flinders Street Railway Station between 80 and 100 years ago. And I get that many older people on tour who get excited and they say, we remember that. I remember the day that I didn't have a penny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks now. Thanks, mate. See you, mate. <laughs> All right, you guys weren't really drinking on the job. Oh, uh, we were. <laughs> How good is this job? After the break, more Murray magic. <laughs>